and welcome to the Posh Travel Blog and welcome back to our subscribers. I'm Christina. And I'm Stuart. And we're currently on board Holland America Line's New Staten Dam sailing the Eastern Mediterranean and we're having a fantastic time. We've put on some various videos onto our channel you may have seen already, uh, but we thought this one would be is, is really important. Yeah, it's Christina's idea. Let's do a video on Have It All um, because when we booked the holiday, uh, we thought, shall we take it? or shall we not take it? So this video is going to actually uh, give you the pros and cons of taking it or not. Um, but I'm not going to tell you right now whether we should have done or not. You'll see that shortly. Um, so uh, without further ado, um, if we're going to go over the all about the package, what's included, and uh, obviously examples of drinks and things as well. Exactly. Um, so you should find it informative, hopefully. Okay, so here we go. So the Have It All offer is actually cheaper to pre-book in advance before you get on board. Uh, we're based in the UK, so I'm pricing this in pounds. Uh, it's £40 per person per day to pre-book, uh, much cheaper than on board. It's actually the equivalent of £48 per person per day, $60 uh, to book on board. So if you're going to do it, do it in advance. Definitely. The uh, package includes uh, surf Wi-Fi, which is the middle. They've got three internets. Uh, they've got a very basic one, social. They've got surf, and then they've got one which lets you stream and things. So it's the middle one, which can be upgraded on board. So you get surf Wi-Fi. You get $200, so $100 per adult in the cabin towards shore excursions. Um, and you get two visits to speciality restaurants. On this ship we're on, New Staten Arm, they've got more choices. So you actually get to go in uh, Tamarind or Pinnacle Grill. Um, they've also got uh, Rudy Seldom Air, but that isn't included, and uh, Canaletto. And on Oosterdam, it would be, say, that the smaller ships, uh, they've only got two speciality dining venues, um, which was Pinnacle Grill and Canaletto, so you would get one visit to each of those. Um, and in addition to that, the drinks. Yep, obviously the drinks, you um, can have up to 15 drinks a day on the Have It All, and uh, up to a value of $11 per a drink. Which is pretty good actually. It is, yeah. Because that does cover most of the drinks, but we'll come over that in a minute. So yeah, it's a really good package. These comparisons are based on our experience. We're on for a two-week cruise, uh, so the speciality uh, restaurant visits do vary. If you're on for longer, you get more visits. But as I say, everything on this is based on a two-week vacation. Uh, so we're going to begin by telling you what drinks, most importantly, what drinks are included. We stole a menu from we the have, bar. Been, we are returning it before we disembark. So we've been all around and um, yeah, we've got the wine wine menu and I've been up to the bar and I've been writing down because I haven't got anything printed. Well, this is uh, what we find on cruises. Yeah. We were on NCL earlier in the year. For our regulars, they'll know we're whiskey drinkers. Um, and celebrity. on NCL Celebrity, we couldn't find any price of whiskey. Come on, on here on Holland America Line. Oh, guess what? No prices, no list of wh what whiskies you can have all the prices. They've got cocktails and beers, um, but by, that's it. We've just been up to the bars. We've got a list or a price of whiskies. We've got um, all the bars listed here. We've been around all of them. I just said, <laughs> have you got the whiskey bar? Because I've been sent to bar to bar, but nothing. No, no it's not printed. They've and all... I think it's all to do with... Um, Directional. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a, a whiskey and a Coke or can I have a whiskey on the rocks? And you'll get what they give. Yeah. So it's best to know in advance. So Christina's got yeah. a little bit of research here. Yeah. So. Every bar we went to, they had their own bar menu, um, but it tended to be more sort of cocktails and beers are in there and a few wines yeah, and what have like you. like this one. But behind the bar is everything top shelf there. So um, I've, I've sort of, as I say, there's nothing printed. So I've just been asking to sort of uh, get some ideas of what you can get for the $11. Yeah. Um, so on your whiskies, uh, if you like your single malts, you can get the Glenfiddich, the Glenlivet, Johnny Walker Black and the Chivas. So quite a good selection. I think that's pretty yeah, fair, for a, And they were all within the $11. They were. Um, your gins, you had Hendrix, Tanqueray and Bombay that I saw. Again, they were within the 11. Um, and then you had... Uh, uh, Various rums. Yeah, liqueurs. Liqueurs, Baileys, Cointreau, Drambuie. They were $10. So again, you were within budget there. And uh, you had Tia Maria at seven fifty, Grand Marnia at ten, Remy Martin at fifteen. Yeah, so, so you could you could add a little bit extra there. You could so if you wanted a Remy Martin, so you just add three dollars. Again, you could have um, you could upgrade your whiskies, and uh, there was a few on offer there at yeah. about thirteen dollars. Or McAllen. McAllen, yes. Yeah. So yes, we like McAllen. A, a couple of dollars. So you'd have to add two dollars to that. Yeah. They didn't used to do that, but 
we read recently that's just started doing that, so you can, you can. pay the, the difference, so which is quite nice. Really. But you have to ask the prices because there's nothing printed uh, yeah. for these for the whiskies. Or the spy spirits. the bottles along the back. Yeah, and then and say, can I have that, that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's strange, but it's not strange really because it's all uh, about money yeah. and uh, you know, but try and direct you, direct you to yeah. and the what cocktails, they will sell you. And the drinks are amazing and the cocktails are lovely and they are it might good. be what you like. So, um, yeah. But, if you, but it's uh, yeah. generous, $11 a day is a generous allowance um, and uh, most of the drinks you can get included for that. So yeah, um, I think they're probably one of the fairest actually, do you? It's a very, very good, good selection of top shelf spirits within that yeah because that other price. cruise lines uh will just give you very basic things uh gordon's gin for example or johnny walker red label and that's and that's the limit but on here as long as it falls within the 11 that's fine yeah so. if you were ordering a gin and tonic and we were asked the question on our channel on another another cruise line is the tonic included in the 11 or is it two it is included but just bear in mind if you have a gin and tonic on holland it's the mixer from their Squirty tap uh, that they, <laughs> yeah. they use. So Dispenser, you, I think yeah. it's called. <laughs> so if you um, wanted a gin and say Schweppes tonics, which they do have on yeah. here, that would class as two of your drinks from your 15 allowance. So the gin yeah. would be one and the Schweppes tonic would be a second. But if you're happy to just have the house mixer, uh, then that's included in the in the one the one drink there. Exactly. And also tinned water. Um, they charge quite high. It's only it's small tins, about three dollars seventy-five. I think I read. Yeah, canned water. Three seventy-five for yeah. a tiny tin. Well, that does count as one of your drinks. So, so um, if you, what we do is bring in water from ashore, and they're quite happy for you to do that. There's no problem at all. We just brought a few bottles on yeah. on board. So alternatively, you've, you've, you've got the free ship's water, which yes. doesn't actually taste too swimming poorly. It tastes really nice. Yeah, it's not bad and at all. Uh, yeah, you can get that free from the dispensers in the in the Lido buffet. But sometimes it's a bit of a faff. So if you want to sort of stock up on water, it's, I would do that from ashore, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can order two drinks at a time. Um, so if you're going to have a mixer like Schweppes, that would be your second drink. Or you can uh, or order two other drinks. Um, but the girl we just mentioned to at the bar, uh, she said, well, make sure you both hand your cards in at once so that the drinks are evenly placed onto your account. And if you, really? she said if you order three drinks at once, they, the computer's set up to charge you. So it is two oh. drinks at a time, yeah. Oh, that's great. what she just I told us. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, worth bearing in mind. Um, good selection of beers. Uh, you've got your Bud Light, Stella, Michelob, Corona, Miller's and Coors Light, Red Stripe, Heineken, Guinness... Uh, and you've got some strong bow ciders and truly wild berry. So yeah, good good selection of beers yeah. there. And the beers are seven dollars seventy five. So again, within that well within the budget um, and limit. Um, obviously vodkas and uh, sambuca and and the other things are all included it as was well. They're all within selection. the eleven. You know. Champagne was more. Though, wasn't yeah, it? I, I think in the in the wine I picked up at the. the yeah, main so restaurant. Vive Clico, for example, it's twenty eight a glass. So you get 11, so that means you've got to add a $17 supplement. So, yes, it's quite, quite high. Yeah, that is. Again, good, good selection, really, of um, Yes, I mean, this is the included. wine list. Um, I mean, at dinner, I mean, red wines by the glass, uh, quite a few. Robert Mondavi, private selection, Pinot Noir. Chateau Smith Cabernet, Washington, the mostly American wines because it's an American ship. Uh, Klein Zinfandel, California. Then they have got uh, Cote de Rhone from France. Um, they've got uh, uh, Shiraz from Australia. and uh, But then there's other wines that you can order, for, like Napa Valley wines, Beringer and things like that, which are 18, so obviously then you You'd just pay to, the supplement. Yeah, pay the supplement, the fibre. Uh, some of the whites, you've got uh, a French Chardonnay, Italian Moscato, you've got a Tuscany wine. Uh, a Riesling from uh, Columbia Valley, Washington State. You've got uh, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. Uh, and they're all included in the price. They're all 11 or below. Um, and, and then you can go up to things like uh, uh, Sancerre from France, which is 24. So obviously then you pay the supplement. So. But it's a really good selection. Very, very Prosecco's good selection. included. And also uh, 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 Michelle Brute, Columbia Valley, Washington State's included. Um, and then the Le Grand Cottage Brut Rosé uh, was 13, so you just pay a small something on that. A um, um, couple of rosés there as well. So Yeah, yeah. there's a Beringer White Zinfandel uh, Rosé included in the price. Okay. And there's a Cote de Provence Rosé, um, so you just pay $1 supplement. So so quite a good selection. Well, very, it? very fair. I think, yeah. 
can't complain about that at all. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're on the have it all and then you decide to go for a bottle of wine, I believe they give you a discount as well off a bottle of wine. Um, I think it might be 25%. I, you'd have, we'd have to double check on that. Um, yeah, you do get an extra discount. Okay. Yeah, so that's the wines. So it's really good. Just forgot to mention one thing. Speciality coffees. Uh, they are included in your Have It All package. They're all under, I think, eleven dollars. Um, there might be a few exceptions there, but um, well, could be special. Depends what you've got going in the coffee. Absolutely. <laughs> and um, that's like Explorations Cafe on the, deck fourteen uh, on this ship, or the uh, they've got the Dutch, Dutch cafe, cafe as well on this is on Newstat and Darm, probably the newer ships. Or but they've always got the speciality coffee shop and whatever ship that you go on. Um, so yeah, they're included in the Habit All package as well, up to eleven dollars. Yeah, so it'll be one of your fifteen drinks in there if you like your coffees. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So, the fifty million dollar question: <laughs> Did we take the Habit All? No, we didn't. I don't know who who's to blame here, but I guess I, oh dear, I guess mistake. I thought after we'd been all inclusive on Celebrity and NCL that oh, I don't want to drink too, too much. much. So, mm. um, th and we won't spend as much, but. I really do feel, or we both do, that Holland America, this habit all is is very, very good value for money. It, it is really good value is, for money. yeah. Just for example, the speciality restaurants to go into the Pinnacle Grill um, is forty six. Uh, so plus eighteen percent service charge. Plus, yeah. So you you, you add that up. Um, a couple of visits there. Um, the internet is worth. Oh, I've written the price. One hundred seventy dollars. Yeah, $170 for the internet. Yeah, so I mean, when you add all these things together, I mean, we've been, as an example, on a daily basis, we don't really drink lunchtime, we're ashore as well, so we'll have a couple of drinks in the evening before dinner, usually whiskey, like say we like a whiskey, and uh, we'll have a bottle of wine with dinner. All the drinks that we're buying are plus 18%, which that isn't the case when you're on Have It All, because no. it's, that's you are allowed 15 drinks, full stop. Uh, so we've had a couple of drinks before dinner, we've had a bottle of wine, there's four of us, bottle of wine at dinner and maybe a bottle and a half of wine at dinner. We've been paying um, to go into the speciality restaurants, yeah. um, so we're a couple of times on there. And yeah. I think we're And I actually... paid for the top internet as well, so I didn't even have the allowance from the middle internet because we didn't have the have it all. Um, and we've done the calculations and... Yeah, we're definitely we're down, pocket. we are definitely down. We're probably, <laughs> not much, but we, you know, Whereas you can have for 15 drinks a day, I, it's, it really is a, unless you don't drink, unless you're not going to go on the ex, any of the ship's excursions and you don't want the Wi-Fi. Yeah, um, then if don't take it. No, that's basically. it. It's not for everybody. But I feel in our instance, it would have, yeah. If you're like definitely. us, if you like a couple of drinks before dinner and a bottle of wine with dinner, then, and you need internet. And you quite like the shore excursion credit, and you like going to the specialities, which you should on this ship because they're amazing. They are amazing. See our dining guide. Um, then I think you should seriously consider taking it. And to be honest with you, we cut back still on that basis. I mean, we usually like to have a, a beer at lunchtime or a glass of rose at lunchtime or something, but we didn't have it. Um, but on have it all, we definitely would have had it. So I think that's it. That's the only thing we need to drink more than. I well, think we... I think the thing is, we're on cruises a lot with our job. And, and blogging and everything so so we had to sort of take a step back on this occasion but if you're on your holiday and you just come for two weeks or three weeks and it's your main holiday and you're going to have a good time and have a few drinks it's it, definitely it's worth it. It's a cracking it. offer it really is it both is fair good and I think it's only on promotion because it's their anniversary but it's been on for certainly in the last year they've been advertising this so if it's on I would I would grab it yeah if you can get it at that 40 pounds per person today pre-book it it's well well worth it really okay. is and if you book in advance uh, Holland America Line give you this deal but they also give you free gratuities as well if you're booking in advance which is amazing isn't it so that really, that really is, adds yeah. up as well uh, 16 dollars no. uh, per person per day um so yeah definitely they have it all that's it. And we it's would good, suggest it on that basis. Yeah, and good good wines as well that you're you're getting as well. So you're not you're not missing out on on the quality quality drinks no, by having. They're it. not they're giving really... you a load of rubbish. No, because they're not you've skimping. Got on the habit all. They're very you generous. You get the drinks just as good. The lovely branded names up to eleven dollars and fifteen drinks per day, which yeah. is probably most. It's probably what everybody needs. <laughs> Some yeah. people might. If you obviously go over fifteen, you pay. Um, and I think as long as you're savvy and you, you know what drinks you like on the top shelf there and you see them on display, yeah. just ask what the price is. And That's as I say, thing. a lot of them are included within that $11. So. Yeah, don't just take what you've given. Ask yeah. for what 
ask for what you can have. There's, yeah. There are other choices. They're better quality within your $11. So, yeah, so that's oh. it. Have it all. I hope you just want to thank you for watching. I hope you found that informative and, and helpful. Um, if you have, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd subscribe to our channel, that down would be there, great. Or down um, there. <laughs> we are obviously putting on more ship tours. We're putting on a full dining guide. And uh, we've already put on various uh, cabin types on here, including one of the suites. Um, so, yeah. And we'll definitely be back on Holiday America Line and probably next year. And when we do, we're going to bring this video up and watch it to remind us to do the right thing. Absolutely. <laughs> so lovely. Thanks for watching. Thank and you very much. We'll see for you again watching. soon. All the best. Bye. Bye.